Hello, Robert Pattinson. Hello. How you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. There's people over here. There's people here. here. <laughs> this is my entourage here. They've got some good questions for you. Do you know how they won the opportunity to meet you? No, I have no idea. Did you hear about this? We got them to recreate their favorite moment of Twilight, their favorite scene, yeah. into like a minute long film. Oh, so it wasn't just like text in. This is like dedication. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Do you have, can I see them? Yeah, we're going to email you them all. Okay. <laughs> is that all right? Or sl- <laughs> I also had to do it as well to show everybody. I played both you, well, not you, I played Edward and Bella. Um, it's, it's quite incredible. So I feel like, that's, that's what I feel like I do in the movie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so we're going to talk about your new movie, uh, which is Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. Quite the title, quite a lengthy one, which is it's the final installment. How does it feel to be sort of sat here doing the press and, and talking about it for, the, I guess, the last time? It's a little bit frightening. Yeah. Yeah, just to think. Are you going to be okay after this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, yeah, I've got five days and that's it. Uh-huh. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll be a completely different person afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it's been such a huge part of your life. It must be quite weird to, to, to know that it's the end of that chapter in your life now. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. I, I mean, it's funny just to fall into something and then everything changes, mm-hmm. <laughs> like to a massive extent. Yeah. And then... Uh, yeah, just to think that it's done. I don't. Yeah, I genuinely don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to do it again. I've got to start doing. Yeah, it. Yeah, need a new saga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they call it a saga? It just reminds me of old people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it really does. Yeah, the saga. Maybe you could do like saga adverts <laughs> or something like that in time, in time. Um, but an incredible movie. What do you think your your favorite part of of the movie was? We quite like the Irish vampires. Everyone loves the Irish vampires. It's incredible. like just to make sure we get a bit of red wig on them. <laughs> yeah. like, Irish. They only wear green. All of them. Like, was uh, there anything really difficult in the film that you had to you had to do like battle scenes? Was there a particularly tough part? Um, and did you have to do that thing which I've seen only on TV shows where you're acting with nothing? Oh yeah, I feel like that in every scene. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. Uh, uh, the, um, you know what I mean? Like a, the green screen, like stickers on your face and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were doing that with the with the baby. Yeah. I mean, all the time. I mean, we just we couldn't really figure out how to sh- how to shoot it because we tried it with a real baby and then we tried it with a robotic baby, and eventually we were just <laughs> just holding it like that and just you know and everyone's like, it's so beautiful. Like your <laughs> palms, yeah. so <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was kind of tough. Yeah. And then after, obviously, quite a challenge to go and shoot the movie. Then you have to come and sit around and, and talk about the movie and promote it, which is quite tiring, I believe. And you, you'd go like all the world over and just talk about the the movie for two years straight, <laughs> something like that. Where's been like the weirdest place you've gone to? Have you had to do like any like really surreal TV shows that you're like all of a sudden it's live and I'm whisking something or doing something weird? Um. Yeah, there was quite there was one thing in Japan. Uh, no, where was it? I like the ones in Italy. In Italy, they just uh, they never ask you about the movie in Italy. Mm-hmm. They just they'll ask you about like contemporary Italian politics. Or <laughs> yeah, like, like, mm-hmm. and, I mean, and, and, I don't know. It's really strange. They'll look at anyone who's been in the movie and they'll be like, "I want to know your opinion on this. Give me your opinion." I'm like, "I don't have an opinion on anything." Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Literally, please don't. <laughs> I just have to deal with it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like that forever. <laughs> you do. It's true though. When you go to like Spain or Italy, like, TV is insane there. Like, I have no idea what's going on. Mainly because it's, it's in Spanish or in Italian. But like the, <laughs> the concept, you always like see someone like cooking or something weird. Like like you say, or like politics there's nothing to do with anything yeah in in japan it sometimes ha- they sometimes have a quite a few odd little things um yeah there was a woman there was a girl where you had to pretend but there was a fly flying around mm-hmm. and was, that was part of the interview we okay. did it for about a minute and a half <laughs> and scrap did. the fly question yeah and she, no, <laughs> no go on flies she would, just, she would just sit there making a fly noise and we would all be like uh-huh Okay. Completely <laughs> normal like thing to be asked to do. Good impression of a fly. Yeah. And how is it when you have to do like interviews with everyone else and you get to go and do it with, with Kristen and with Taylor? Is it is it is that easier or is it is it harder? Because if I had to do like press and it was me and you in a film, I'd just let you do all the talking. And that's just... that, yeah. That's the, the they yeah they have so much more to say. Uh-huh. But they get angry at me because I I keep saying stupid answers to everything and, and they the fly like, thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know what the movie's about. <laughs> and they sit there being like, 
well, you know, it's really, really blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> They're good at the Americans, though, aren't they? I'm so bad at it. I don't know what, <laughs> I'm like... They're real sincere, aren't they? They're so good at it. Uh, and the premieres tonight, which all these ladies are going to be at the premiere as well tonight. <laughs> How is it when you get there and you get out of the car and everyone's, you know, screaming your name and your face is giant on a big cinema? Does that ever feel normal? Because there's, there's been a lot of films now where you've, you've had to do that, but does it feel still weird? It is a little weird, and it's like I always have when the first step you get out of the car. Like, I never figured out how people um, tuck their shirt in, yeah, or pull it down, yeah, because it sort of rises in the car, yeah. And so, I'll get out, and so every single time I get out, I gotta have my like, I look like I'm putting my hand down my pants, like, <laughs> but you're not the first step, <laughs> every premiere. That's the first photos I've always got my hand down my pants, okay? Maybe no, don't, do, don't do that tonight, don't do that, ladies. Tonight. That's tits, hands up. It's like embarrassing this. as well because they tuck my shirt into my underwear, so. <laughs> it's like really getting it. <laughs> <laughs> and is it terrifying when you're there and you have to do the red carpet and you know have pictures or are you completely used to that now I never know what to do if I have to go to those things um, yeah I mean you kind of you have to keep the, I think the speed is the most important thing because right. like you know people want to kind of go crazy and you want to kind of create the frenzy because if you stay in the same place for too long it becomes very very awkward when someone's just been screaming in your face and you stand there, but after like yeah. after half a second, if they're still screaming, like I mean, it becomes very strange uh -huh. very quickly. And if you stand there for like five seconds and someone's with this close, then uh -huh. you just scream. <laughs> so eventually, we're like, oh, okay, this is a, like, what are we doing? Over it now. <laughs> and obviously, very dedicated uh, fans to, to to you and to the film. Uh, was there anyone when you were younger that you you had that level of dedication to or obsession with? Uh, Jet from Gladiators. Did you? Yeah. Did you love Jet? I went for my 10th birthday. Oh, really? And it was the biggest day of my life. I loved it. I had Jet's autograph. I, was... I even got the contestants' autographs, which was just like Dave from Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to, I did, I did a, dog, a dog beauty show when I was about, probably about 10 as well. Oh. And Jet was what? supposed to be judging it, and she didn't turn up. No way. Yeah. How dare she? And that was, yeah, my first... It's it's it, it, it scarred my it scarred me with women. I don't trust women anymore. Cause a jet. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, jet. Um, and is there anyone that you were a fan of when you were younger? Now that you you've gone on to meet, going to like premiere, going to like the Oscars or anything. Is there anyone that you've you've met and you thought, oh, that's quite cool on a jet level? Uh, <laughs> um, I met Stevie Nicks last night, which was kind of amazing. That's really cool. And she's like a massive Twilight fan. And she no talked talk to me about Twilight. She said the, the last Twilight movie inspired uh, like her whole album. This album. What? She, I was like, what is going on? And she was like, <laughs> like genuinely a fan. Yeah. And uh, that was kind of amazing. Yeah, I was not weird. expecting that as well. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not from Stevie Nicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we have some questions from our winners? Are you I ready? I see your films. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll have to send them to you. We'll have to do it. Hi, I'm Becky. If you could have any power that the Cullen family have, what would it be? And are there any that you wouldn't want and why? I would quite like Carlisle's um, powers of empathy because I have none. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of empathy. <laughs> just, I just don't even need a superpower. <laughs> My question is, if the Voltori had a battle with Voldemort and the Death Eaters, who would win? And why? <laughs> <laughs> and statistics on fighting. Um, hmm, I don't, that's actually quite difficult. Mm, because remember that you were killed by Voldemort. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I mean, are they powerful against... God, I'm going to reveal my ignorance of both series now. Mm. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Like they seem to. I don't know. I think. I think that the Voldemort could kind of. He seems like he'd probably win. I think. I feel like he could do like weird, like blue things. That yeah, because you know, like I mean, blue electric things. Because the only way that you can kill Voldemort is by like being the same thing, right? I don't really know. <laughs> but it's like. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was just Harry. I thought it was just something to do with Harry. Oh, but. Okay, I'm ignorant as well. Oh. <laughs> I, so if there's only one person who can kill Voldemort, I mean, I guess Voldemort could win. Okay. Because it's quite easy to, put, to kill the Volturi, to pull their heads off. That's all. I feel like I should have revised a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question, I think. It's a good question. <laughs> Next one for Robert. Hey, um, I'd like to be an actress when I'm older, and I was wondering what would be your top two tips to being successful? You should do it as much as you can. 
um, and yeah, just like join drama clubs and stuff. Yeah. And never speak when you're off stage ever. Like if someone goes up and does, like talks to you about your performance, just be like, yeah, and just act really weird. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then and people will be like, Why? that's so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> It, it works really well. Sounds good. <laughs> Man, she's so deep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. Um, I was just wondering, what's the like most extreme thing that a fan has ever done to you? I saw this girl had a tattoo. She like tattooed well Edward's face on herself, but it didn't look anything. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> uh, just, I thought that was kind of amazing. I mean, it could have literally just been some random <laughs> guy. <laughs> like, she showed it to me. She was like, "Look what I've done." I'm like. Is that? What have you done? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Hi, I'm Iona. Um, I was wondering, um, if you could have directed any of the scenes in Breaking Dawn Part 2, which ones would you have directed and why? I would quite like to direct the sex scene. I shouldn't maybe say that. <laughs> I just realised what I was saying as it was coming out. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe think of another one because I don't want to elaborate on that. One, so. How is like a romantic scene? Or like a kissing scene on set? Is it embarrassing? It's quite difficult. Yeah. Like, kissing is harder than lovemaking scenes. Because you know, like, I mean, you, I mean, generally you have to get really in there for yeah. a kissing scene and you're like, I mean, it's not, you can't kiss like normally kiss it's like weird yeah and also do you know in like in movies they, they come get like really really close they're uh -huh. really fast that's impossibly hard to do like especially if you do it, i mean you got a one in three chance of like smashing someone's tooth out <laughs> like, uh, the, and everybody always wants to do it really quick and it smushes your nose up and your lip up up in your eyeball like, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's really yeah it's really hard <laughs> That answer your question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lip in question. eyeball as an out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would just quite like to direct the sex scene because I would like to like just, I mean, even if I would put it the last day of the schedule, and and just and then suddenly, and say like, listen, I've got to have a closed set. It's really really important. No one can see the monitors or anything. And then just put like a walrus in or something instead. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and just don't tell anyone at the studio until it comes out and that's like the big highly anticipated sex <laughs> surprise <laughs> <laughs> uh, well Robert thank you nice Thanks to talk to, to you nice to see you good, good luck with the movie thank we you. hope you do well after this I'm pretty uh, sure you'll be okay <laughs> uh, well thank you and thank you all as well for your questions Thanks a lot. thank you